Hey friends, Mindy here. I have a quick unboxing for you today. I'm going to be unboxing my monthly subscription to a house of books. This is the gathered kit. You can get this kit either monthly or you can sign up for it quarterly if you prefer to do it that way. Um, uh, this is the second month in a row I've got, we have gotten one of these. So um, they come in a hand sewn bag that's got some trim tied around it. So I'm just gonna open this up and show you what is inside this month. So most of the items in the gather kits are vintage pieces, about 75% of them I think is what she said. And then um, roughly 25% are going to be uh, reproductions that they make there in the studio. Um, let me just kind of set this off to the side and we'll go through these little bits first. So there's a little bag that has some book spine pages. These are fun for like textures if you want to make clusters and that kind of thing. I'm not going to open those up. There's just a few in there. And then there's a little envelope that has some stamps. Some of these look to be vintage. Um, some of them, maybe not so much, but there are some postage stamps in here. Those are just fun for adding some texture. There's also a little bag. I'm not sure what was stamped there. Um, there's like a little laminate chip and just kind of some found pieces. So there are some vintage buttons it looks like, and then it looks like some vintage um, book corners as well in there. It looks like there's a little wax seal. Um, and some puzzle pieces. Again, not gonna open this up because I will get everything all over everywhere. I will say, um, forgot to mention that the gathered kits, you can choose either the, a neutral colorway or the colors colorway. So um, everything that is in there is curated to coordinate together. So everything that I have is the neutral pack, um, but you can choose the colors and then each month or quarter, you'll get um, one that has coordinating color. So like everything will be green or whatever. You can't pick the color, but everything within that one kit will be coordinated, if that makes sense. So moving on, there's a lot to get through. So there is a little tag that's got a couple, like three different trims on here. And there is this little bag of, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but some thread, some really fine yarn or something. It looks like thread. It almost reminds me of like what they would use to kind of crochet lace. I'm not, I don't have any idea if that's actually what that is, but it's just real fine like that. Um, and then there are some interesting little trims here. This kind of wrapped in this cranberry one. Let me see if I can open this up and maybe I can. I'm really fumbly today, sorry. Um, so that would make a good closure or just some extra texture on a journal page. And then there is like some knitting. And then there's this gold with the sequins and this black. And then a little bit like of lace. It's like just a floral piece cut out of some lace. And then there are um, some other little fabric scraps as well. So there's this piece and then there is this little lace and this fabric. I'm just gonna go through here kind of quickly. Some, and some more gold on there and then just some black. This would be really good, um, just plain black, almost canvas like for uh, a spine as well as this white version here and then some gray knit or something um so i'm gonna put these to the side and then there is also um some found items here these obviously are not going to be vintage but um there is a like an iridescent envelope and I think a couple of these are very similar or maybe even the same to what I got last month, actually. Yeah. So some envelopes there and then a library pocket with some more of these like found words. Um, honestly, if, to, to be really honest, I have no idea what I would use these for, but um, there are just some quotes and stuff if you like to do like found um, 
what's it called? Found poetry or whatever. Um, or if you just wanted to add just a little bit of like text on something as a like a background, I guess you could do that if like in a junk journal or an art journal. And then there is a library card. This one has an adhesive piece on the back, um, but you can definitely vintage these up pretty easily if you're interested in doing that. And, um, and then this little envelope has some actual vintage items in it, along with it looks like maybe some reproduction items here. Um, this is a reproduction, feels like a sticker. And then this is a postcard. It looks, um, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can see. It looks like 1910, I want to say. Yes, 1910. Um, and I really love that this is the Christmas one. I may try and put this in my Christmas journal. There's um, another one here. Um, I'm trying to see. This one looks like 1911. So a couple vintage postcards, and then here's another reproduction of like a label. And then a couple of like um, receipts, it looks like, for some gallons of gas. 10 gallons of gas, $2. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, 1944, it looks like those are from. And then these are... Um, from the Kelly and Jones Company wrought iron pipe fittings, December 28th, 19, I want to say, it looks like 1910 as well. So that's great with all of the different colors of type on there. It's pretty cool too. And here's another little receipt from that same company. And then there's another reproduction of a back of an envelope. And this looks like an actual paper from 1957. This is the U.S. Glass Company. We've had some Glass Company papers before a few times. Um, this one is also, but this is like great, great paper. Um, May 16th, 1957. This is that really thick paper, so that'll be fun to work with. And then a little ledger page, it looks like, from that same time, 10, 1910. And another one from the Kelly and Jones Company from that same time period. So those are always fun. And they always come in a separate little envelope, which I always save because um, you can use those envelopes to create journals and that kind of stuff too. Um, here is another reproduction of, it looks like some ledger and um, some other papers. This is just printed on cardstock, it looks like. And then a coffee dyed envelope and a it's almost like packing paper um this just brown piece of paper and then some more coffee dyed looks like paper and let's see what else we have i'm just kind of going through this pile over here um this looks to be like some scrapbook paper maybe um again you know trying to keep in mind these are curated items so some of it is is vintage and some of it is not it looks like this is a piece of cardstock piece of graph paper here's some more uh, i would call that like scrapbook paper i think i got some of that in my last kit actually and then this is a magazine from 1940 um Looks like it's been colored in a little bit. Some little Christmas images in here too. I'm trying to see if I can find the name of what this magazine is. The Grade to Teacher. So maybe some ideas for teachers. Just lots of different things. There's some Christmas poetry. This is actually kind of cute. I might use this in my Christmas um, journal that I'm working on right now um anyway oh and there's some music paper in here as well this is a kind of interesting magazine uh sorry I won't go through the whole thing but that's in here as well and then there are just some book pages here from some this is look from Harper's Weekly 
And then some art, larger ones. These were folded in half because you can kind of see how, how big they are. I'm trying to see if there's a date or anything on here. 1907, Country Life, it looks like. And then we have some index pages from a book. And then some other just kind of tables and charts. These are these make good backgrounds for things. Um, this is cigar boxes and cases, just some like a catalog of some sort. And then another um, magazine with some tables. And there are some line drawings of buildings, architecture it looks like. And then I love that this, I love the, um, the font of this. This is some stitches. And then have some, something that's just been like typewritten. But I love the, I love the font of that as well. And then it looks like here's, um, it looks like this is torn from a book, but it's like a reproduction of something. So I love the handwriting in here. Um, and then a page with some just line patterns on it. These you could trim out and use like on the edge of a um, journaling card or something like that. Maybe we'll do some of that. Uh, another page from a book of some sort. I think it, it's been cut, it looks like, because it's only part of it. But it looks like then there are some pages from a magazine. There's a train in here, which I love. A big building, some line art. So just kind of some more photography. And this one is from a book about pests and diseases. <laughs> um, some sampler stitches here. Another plant. The botanicals are good because you can kind of, you know, if you wanted to cut them out and make, um, use it as a, a focal point or something like on a tag or journaling card. There's like that big floral arrangement there. I actually really love this one. Let me see. This is so cool. Some, like a blueprint love that and then some other architecture here's I guess another kind of blue blue blueprint um of, of landscaping and then it looks like some pages from a book with Hollywood type actors and things I'm not really sure um this is really cool I love the the arches there then there's a little plane and just some other kind of images. These are just, you see, they're, they're pretty big images here of some paintings. I love this one with the trains in the background of Rocky Mountains. I'm going to say that I don't know that that's the Rocky Mountains, but that's what I'm going to say because I'm originally from Colorado, so... Um, I love, I love trains. I think I've mentioned that before, but my, um, my dad retired from the railroad. And so there are many railroaders in my family. So I always love the train images. Um, there's this boat picture as well. There's some more like just like architecture type pieces. It's kind of hard to know which side to, you'd use on some of these. And then it looks like I have some end papers as well. So um, these are really good to use. Like if you are making a journaling card or something like that and you need to create kind of some writing space, you can do that. Another thing you can do is, and I've mentioned this before, take some of your old stamps, like your Tim Holtz stamps, like the tickets one or whatever, and you can stamp them on here and cut them out. And then you'll have something that is already kind of patinaed and aged. Um, so then there's just some title pages from some books here as well. Again, some more index pages. Here's some poetry from Shakespeare. We're nearing the end. Hopefully I'm not making this video too long. Um, just some more. The, the texture on this paper is really good. It's really toothy. Uh, so that's good paper. And then there's some in a foreign language as well. This looks to be some paper from a hymnal. I don't think that the hymnal itself was aged, but um, I th I like the fact that these are actually bright white. Um, so you can do a lot with those as well. I always like music paper. And then um, have a few sheets from a 
an atlas, it looks like. And a couple of dictionary pages. And then another sheet of music. Actually, a couple more of those as well. These are great because, um, like, unlike the hymnals, they just have the the music. So you can, especially some of these that are really note heavy, um, they just add a really interesting design element, I think. So um, anyway, so that is everything. I will put my affiliate link down below. Again, this is the gathered kit, but um, don't forget that a house of books also has a lot of items that are that they sell a la carte. So if you're not wanting to subscribe to a monthly kit or there's just something in particular that you're looking for, check out the website. There's a lot of things. They're also, I think, offering some classes for different things. Um, so be sure to check that out. Like I said, I'll put my affiliate link down below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.